I'm Colin Acosta, and I'm a midfielder for the U.S. Men's National Team. So my dad uh, was born in Japan. He lived in Japan until he was, I think, 12 years old. My step-grandpa, where I get the last name Acosta from, he's Hispanic. Um, he was in the military in Okinawa, Japan, and that's how he met my grandma. And so after he served over there, they moved back to the U.S., lived in California for a bit, and then resided for most of their time in Texas. Growing up my childhood, a lot of diversity, um, starting from, you know, going to my grandma's house, having that Asian culture stemmed from eating the food, listening to, to, to Asian news, Japanese magazines. My mom's side, being black, is a little bit different, different culture, different feel. You know, having that as well, I mean, it was a pretty diverse room. When I was a kid, I used to tell people like, oh, my, my dad's Asian, my grandma's Asian, and no one kind of believes me. I mean, especially like when my grandma used to pick me up from school, people would be like, no way, that's your grandma. Like, who is that? Is that like your nanny or are you adopted? And I mean, it's funny that I got to prove to people that like, this is my family. I always got some, uh, some, some mixed emotions and mixed looks, uh, you know, based on based on my family. But I mean, I love it. I mean, it's always cool to kind of um, open people's eyes and be like, you know, visually, this is this is what I look like. But I'm I'm more than that. I had the opportunity to visit Little Tokyo um, with actually my my dad and my grandma. And it was kind of just a special moment for me sharing that experience for them. My grandma hasn't been on a plane in 50 years since she moved to the U.S. Having her come to L.A. to have that experience with me was super special. And we went to the Japanese Museum and I learned a lot of things that I, I had no idea even existed. And even beyond that, uh, several months later, I was actually um, the Grand Marshal at the Nisei Parade which is like a Japanese parade in Little Tokyo. So I was really tapped into the Japanese community and it was huge. And it was just exciting to see how excited my grandma was that I was a part of it and really taking on my Japanese heritage. I feel like I'm more of like a, a chameleon because I feel like I can blend in in you know, different backgrounds because that's how I grew up. I was accustomed to many different cultures. So um, when someone talks about they experienced this, I'm like, well, you know, when I was younger, this is I experienced the same thing. I can really relate to all cultures pretty much because that's who I am. To play in the World Cup would, would be a dream come true. Something that I've always wanted to experience since I was a little kid. I'm representing something that's bigger than myself. Um, not only just, you know, the crest in the front, but a person that people can look up to. And hopefully they'll have, you know, many people, very, various backgrounds like myself in future World Cups. Mm -hmm.